Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to bless this vigil. Today is the day nine of this vigil. And we have concluded the part nine and the end of victory over Abdullah Bat. We want to celebrate the victory that God has given to us with this song. We want you to join us as we praise the Lord Jesus who has given us victory by his blood. Jesus. Amen. Tonight we have come to celebrate. Tonight we want to give praise to the Most High God for what He has done 
Jesus. We want to thank him. We want to give him praise. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel like giving all to us to be on this platform. Thank God for this online service that God had made possible. And I want to thank you as everyone that have been, you know, following us since the beginning of this regime. My prayer is that God will surely give us back Tory. Amen. And the victory will manifest. Amen. You will know that something has happened to you. Amen. And you'll be living a victorious life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So now I conclude uh, victory over bloodline battle. We are looking at the topic activating bloodline blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Activating bloodline blessing. And I want to tell you that from today, what you begin to see in your life is a blessing in your bloodline. No more battle of your bloodline Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Turn your Bible with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 22, 24. 22, verse 23 to 24. And I will fasting in. As a nail in a sure place, and it shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house, and they shall hang upon him all the glory of his father's house. Let somebody say, Amen. Amen. The offspring and the issue of all vessels of small quantity from the vessel of copper. The Lord made us understand that everyone that has partake of this bloodline deliverance. God is saying, you as a nail in a sure place. Amen. And you are going to be for a glorious throne to your father's house. Amen. You are the glory of your father's house. Amen. You are the glory of your generation. Amen. You are the glory of your lineage. Amen. And he said, you, he was going to hang upon you the glory of your father's house. That is a glory of your father's house that, has, that is yet to manifest. God says that glory, you are the one who is going to manifest it. Amen. The untapped glory, the unactivated glory of your lineage, you are tapping into it in the name of Jesus Amen. and you will surely manifest it in the name of Amen. Jesus. From the study of the word of God since the beginning of this video, we see clearly in the scripture that our blood has been polluted by the sins right from the time of Adam, when Adam fell in the garden. Also, we have seen how our senses passed down iniquities unto us, how they passed down corruption unto us, how we are draw, withdrawing from the spiritual back account of the iniquity of our forefathers. And through their involvement, our forefathers' involvement in occultism, in adoratory, in unpleasant things, evil transactions. But to the glory of God, who has cleansed our polluted blood. We want to thank God through this vigil, our polluted blood has been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So if you have given your life to Jesus Christ, if Christ is the Lord and your Savior, and by the grace of God you have followed through all this bloodline deliverance, I want, to allow, I want to let you know that your blood has been cleansed. You have a new bloodline which is inputted to you right now by virtue of the work of Calvary as a result of your new birth. So as a believer in Christ Jesus, we have access into a tremendous blessing, blessing of our forefathers, blessing of our generation. It was not only battle that is on our bloodline. In our bloodline, we also have blessing. In our bloodline, we have glory. In our bloodline, we have good traits. But these things are not manifesting because of the corruption in our blood. And the iniquity have superseded the, the blessing. The iniquity in our bloodline have suppressed that blessing. But now that our, our blood has been cleansed, now we have access to that blessing. We have access to that good trait. Now, the blessing will not come out because sin has been removed. Because I pray for everyone that the blessing of your bloodline will begin to manifest in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Abraham, the first man in the Bible whom the Lord pronounced blessing. The Bible says the Lord pronounced blessing upon the generation of Abraham because Abraham have caught a covenant with Christ, with God. So, major aspect of all your blessing, major aspect of our blessing comes through the bloodline of Abraham. Hallelujah. So, all the blessings of Abraham are available to you, are available to me. We have access to that blessing of Abraham through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles through Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Also in the book of Acts of Apostles, Acts of Apostles chapter 3, verse 25 to 26, 25 to 26 says, we are the children of the prophets. We are no more children of the idolaters. We are no more children of adulterers. We are no more children of allots. We are no more children of witchcraft and wizard. But now we are the children of prophets and the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the children of the earth be blessed. Un unto you first, God having raised his son, Jesus Christ, send him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquity. By God's grace, you have been turned away from your iniquity, and now what you have now is no more iniquity, but blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Through the resurrection of Christ, Christ's life, we have been empowered to turn away from iniquity and to live the blessed life. Christ has come, has become our very life. Christ has become your very life. The life you are living now is the very life of Christ and his existence. He lives in, in me. So, as a child of God, Christ wants to produce his life through us. Whatever is not in the life of Christ is not permitted to manifest in your life. So, Jesus Christ is described as the seed of Abraham. And when you look into the world today, what we discover is that we see everything that, is, that life is built on, on seed. Life is built on seed. Human beings, animals, birds, plants continue to exist through what? Through seed. And so this is the very way life produces itself. Life produces itself through seed. So God sent Jesus Christ as the seed of Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. So the life of Christ can be produced through humankind. And you are the one who is going to produce the life of Christ. Amen. The Bible says... That through him, all the family of the earth will be blessed. I want to tell you that through you, all the family in your bloodline, everyone in your bloodline will be blessed. Amen. Not only your family alone, every other people that come that come in contact with you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Seed germinates, it grows, and it brings abundant fruits after its kind. So it can continue to multiply endlessly to bless humanity if planted under a conducive atmosphere. I want to pray that your life from today will be in an atmosphere that Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So through the death and burial and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, as, is, as the seed of Abraham, we have Christ in his resurrection power. Christ in his actual power is now dwelling in us and is bringing forth fruits of sons like himself to bless the world. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In John 12, 24. God through us, Jesus Christ through us, is producing another bloodline, a pure bloodline that will serve the Lord most high God in holiness, in righteousness, and in truth. I pray that God is enlisting you among the children of God that is producing a new bloodline. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says, Blessed be the God of, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing." In heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you are in Christ, God has blessed you with all spiritual blessings. 
in heavenly places. Say amen, somebody. Amen. All the blessings of heaven come into your spirit when Christ comes into your life. When Christ is dwelling in you. Every blessing in heaven comes to you. God has blessed us. It, it is not that we are being blessed alone. It is a blessing. Let somebody say, I am a blessing. I am a blessing. However, what you have is not just a blessing, but the blessed as well. God has blessed us. You are a blessing. You are also the blessing. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Some say that this blessing that we are talking about is only spiritual. But I want to tell you, the blessing is not only spiritual. It's also physical. Physical blessing manifested also in the physical. If you are not blessed spiritually, you can't be blessed physically. Because everything you see in the physical, first of all, existed in the spiritual. And it is the spiritual that gives back to the physical. Say amen. amen. Since we are blessed with Abraham blessings, as revealed in Galatians chapter 3, verse 4, Abraham blessings were not only spiritual. It was made manifest in the physical. And these are the has been listed for us in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1 to 3. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to serve, to observe, and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will be on high above all nations of the earth. Somebody from today, the Lord God Almighty is setting you above all nations of the earth. Amen. The Lord is setting you above your bloodline. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So the condition for enjoying the blessing is to perfectly keep all the commandments of God. I want us to note this. Many Christians today, they are not enjoying this blessing. Many just Blessings are mine. Many claim that yes, I am, I am in Christ Jesus. Bloodline battle has no issue in my life. I am free. No. They are not obeying. You cannot be in sin and ask, the, and ask the grace of God to multiply. So the condition for you to enjoy this blessing, for you to activate your bloodline blessing, is that you must walk in obedience. Your obedience, your obedience is the key to assess, to activate your bloodline blessing. And I pray that God will grant you that spirit of obedience. Amen. This is very important because it shows that you are a child of God and it prevents evil spirits from flowing or walking into your life. Anyone that doesn't want to obey the word of God, evil spirits, whatever, any demon will begin to flow into their life. As you make a resolute, to make sure that you obey God, fulfill his commandments, then no evil spirit can have access to your life. So it has been established fact that every believer is the partaker of the Abrahamic covenant. Every covenant contains a statement of agreement. So God made a program to make him great. Not just great, a great nation. And make his name great. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 2 to 3. But we should not also forget that there are conditions that must be met before Abraham covenant is fulfilled. God said to Abraham in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, B, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. So when we walk with God, when we walk before God in obedience to him, then we shall begin to activate our bloodline blessing. We begin to enjoy the blessing. Don't think that the blessing is automatic. That is the mistake that some people made today. They thought that the, the blessing is automatic. No, you have to play your own part. You have a role to, pay, to play in obeying the covenant condition. And as you do that, generational blessing will be established in you. To prove to us that it is possible for us to have generational blessings, we want to look into the life or to the family of a powerful man of God, one of the great men of God that existed 
here on earth. His name is Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan Edward. By the grace of God, very soon, they will make a research about your own bloodline, about your own family tree, and about, about my own family tree. And as we are looking at the bloodline and generation of Jonathan Edward, very soon, they will read about your own bloodline, Amen. about your own generation, about, own, about, my, about my own generation, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who is Jonathan Edward? Many of us, we know Jonathan Edward, but let me give, give you some things that you don't know about him. Jonathan Edward was married in 1727. He was one of the foremost noted and respected preacher in the early American colonies. His classic message, sinners in the hand of an angry God. We, we learned in church history that when he preached this classic message, sinners in the hand of the angry God, people were crying. People were giving their life to Christ. So this man was very powerful. People would cry out in anguish, dropping into the floor. Many are aware that this man of God, Jonathan Edward, what he did in private life. Private life, how he deal with his family. Hallelujah. We are, we, we are told that Abraham Edward, Jonathan Edward, in private life, he was a very loving, companionship, compassionate man who spent quality time with his You want to pass something to your generation. You want to start a new bloodline. Do you have quality time with your family? What you want to give them? What you want to pass on? We are told that Edward was blessed with 11 children. And when he was at home, when Edward is at home, Edward had a special share that he alone sat in. And in the evening, he would sit down with his children for one hour. Each day, every day, he had time to sit down with his children one hour every day. So the smaller one among his children would sit on his lap. Other one who spent quality time conversing with, the, with their dad. Edward took time to pray a special blessing upon his child. I want you to note that. Edward will have time, he will pray a special blessing upon all the students, one after the other. And the blessing and the prayer of Edward manifested in the life of his children. To prove that Edward's prayers and blessing were effective, in 1900, Winship tracked down 1,400 descendants of Jonathan Edward. In his published study, Dukes Edward, a study in education and heredity. I want you to listen to it. When they study education and heredity, they have to take the family of Edward as a sample and to prove to us, to us that he has passed on Equity and not inequity, he has passed on blessings to his children because it took time. One of the things that I want us to do today is that let us have time with our family, with our children, and make sure that we have inputted the word of God in them. Hallelujah. Amen. So, in the study of education, revealed that the one family of Edward produced an amazing lineage. Somebody you are listening to me, your own family line. We produce amazing lineage in the name of Jesus, Amen. including 285 college graduates on the Edwards family tree. The Edward lineage produced, listen, number one, 300 preachers, hmm. two, 13 noted authors, three, 13 college presidents, <laughs> four, 65 college professors, five, one and a dean of law school. Number six, 30 judges in the family tree. Seven, 56 physicians and a dean of medical doctor, medical school, a dean of medical school. Number eight, 80 order of public office, 80 order of public office, noted one. Three United States senators, one vice president of the United States, one controller of the United States Treasury. Can we see 
These are what pro the family of Edward were able to produce. The spiritual seed of faith, hope, love that was planted into the heart of Edward's children blossomed into a family tree that produced numerous generations of spiritual food. What are the seed? What generation in your own children? Are you planting hope? Are you planting faith? Are you planting love? Whatever you plant in your seed, in your children, it is what will blossom. And it was through that seed that we covered the earth. It's a pity today. When we look at some from family tree today, what we see in their family tree is murderer, is adulterers, is adultery, is vagabond people, is people that are in prison. They begin to mention them. People, generation of people of rapists. But that will not be your own, your own portion in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So we want to activate blessing like the family of Jonathan Ed that planted good seed of love, of generosity of into his family. And that is what we want to put in our own family too. So it is possible that today's family can begin planting a family tree that nourishes generations. Let us begin to plant a family tree that nourishes generations so that we become a legacy of righteousness. Let somebody say, I become a legacy of righteousness. Edward family tree proved that the generational blessing is possible. That bloodline blessing are there for us to tap into. Now, what are the bloodline blessings that we are talking about? This bloodline blessing, I want to mention so that you understand what bloodline blessings are. Number one, is generational blessing. Generational blessing is the good thing. Bloodline blessing is the good thing. Ancestors and our parents are supposed to have achieved over the years. But they are unable to achieve them because of iniquity, because of curse, because of the yoke, because of the evil covenant. But from today, every good thing that your ancestors, your parents are supposed to have achieved and they don't achieve, you achieve them. Amen. Say a good amen. amen. Number two, bloodline blessing. It is the good plan of God concerning your lineage. God has a good plan. He said, my purpose, my plan and purpose for you, they are good to give you an expected line. Hey, when God created you, when you are produced in that land of nativity, God has a plan. And the devil has a plan. But it's a pity that it was the plan of the devil that we allow, that we embrace. But from today... Every plan of God concerning you, concerning your family, concerning your lineage, we become to come, we come to manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bloodline blessing. This is the good dream, prophecies, and revelation concerning your generation, past, present, and future ones. So every good dream, every prophecy, good prophecy, we come to pass in your life. Amen. We come to pass in your family life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bloodline blessing, it is the reward of the good things that have been done by your past generation. Now, we, we, we talk of evil transactions, but there are some other good things. It is not that our family, our bloodline is, entire, is entirely evil. There are some good things that they have done. But because the evil perceived the evil, so there was no reward. But since your blood has been cleansed, every reward of the good thing that your forefathers have done and they are able to receive the reward, you will receive it. Amen. I will receive it. Amen. Say, I will receive it. Will receive so these are the blessings. The blessing, blood and blessings, it is the good foundation that must not be destroyed in your family life. That must not be destroyed in your family lineage. There are some good foundation that have been laid. That foundation, you are going to bring it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bloodline, but bloodline blessing, it is the glory that is yet to manifest. Hallelujah. There is a glory that is yet to manifest by nature, and that glory will manifest. Yeah. In the book of Job, chapter 40, verse 10, it says, Death thyself now with majesty and excellency, and array thyself with glory and beauty. Hallelujah. Yeah. So from now, what you are going to appear in majesty, 
you will appear in excellency. You are going to be arrayed with glory and beauty in the name of Jesus. You see, the excellency of your family will be put upon you. The majesty of your bloodline, you are going to bring it out. The glory and the beauty that is in that bloodline is manifesting through you. It's manifesting through me. Let somebody say, it's manifesting through me. That is bloodline blessing. Bloodline blessing is also, it is the glory that has manifested, but has ceased. There's some glory that manifests once in family, in some people's bloodline, and this glory just ceased. Something just come up, and a, a, a decree came up. Something, a litigation came up, a limitation came up, and this glory just ceased. But which must come alive and be greater than the former. Mali will shake it. That's glory that must come out in your family. And when it's come out in your own life, it will be greater than the former glory. I pray for you. That glory will manifest in your life. Amen. Psalm 106, 102 verse 16. Psalm 102 verse 16. He said, when the Lord shall rebuild up Zion, he shall appear in his glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Now God is rebuilding your family. He's reprocessing your family. He's yeah. rebranding re you. Yeah. And you are going to appear in glory. Yeah. Until when Zion is built, it, shall, it can never appear in glory. Until someone is delivered from bloodline battle, it cannot appear in glory. But from, because you have been delivered, you will appear in glory. Yeah. I say you appear in glory. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Bloodline blessing or generational blessing is a physical and on your generation, that is physical, that is divine endowment, spiritual endowment, on, on your generation from the past, present, and the future, and this endowment will manifest through you, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blood and blessing. It is the promises of God in the Bible, through prayers, prophets that must be fulfilled in your life. In Daniel chapter nine, verse four, and. I prayed unto the Lord, my God, and made my confession and said, O oh Lord, be the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy unto them that love him and to them that keep his commandment. That is a blessing that God must release into your life. That blessing, his promises will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bloodline blessing, it is God's plan, God's will, and God's agenda. For your generation and for your family life. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 13. Say, I have raised him up in righteousness. And I, have, I will direct all his way. He shall build my city. And he shall let go my captive. For the price. Says the Lord of hosts. So that is God's plan. God wants to raise you up. Uh, up in righteousness. God will direct your ways so that you will rebuild your family line. You will rebuild your, your generation and you release the captives. Those that have, been, that have been held captive through you, God is going to set them free in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So this is the agenda of God. That is why God is cleansing your blood. That is why God is sending this message to you so that you will set some people free so that the captives of bloodline battle in your generation will be set free through you. And God will empower you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number 12, it is your portion of blessing in your generation. Bloodline blessing. You, there is a portion for you in your generation that you must assess. Number 13, it is your God's ordained destiny. God ordained destiny. That is your bloodline blessing. Finally, it is the all and all compassing glory of your family and lineage. I remember somebody will be saying that he's great, he's great. He, that is, I tell you that he's great, but it's not amount to, to greatness until he died. Why? Because there is a bloodline battle that suppress that greatness. That greatness in you will manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah, don't forget, the glory of his father's house. Isaiah 22, 40, 40, 24. Isaiah 22, 44 says, and they shall hang upon him all the father's house of the issues of vessels of small quantity from the vessel of cup even to the vessel of flag all the glory of your father's house shall be hung on you Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. so we need to activate 
bloodline blessing. We need to activate it. The way you activate your, your line or your recharge and whatever, this thing needs to be activated. Genesis chapter 28, verse 3 to 4. And God Almighty bless thee. Say amen. amen. And make thee fruitful. Amen. And multiply thee. Amen. That thou may be a people, a multitude of people. Amen. And give thee the blessing of Abraham to, to thee and to thy seed amen. with thee. Say amen. amen. That thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou as a stranger, which God gave unto Abraham. Now you will all agree with me that there is there are many generational and bloodline blessings in, in our blood that are yet to be activated. You will agree with me. A lot of it, not just iniquity, not just uh, evil. There are a lot of blessings that are yet to be activated. Then after we have asked in this program for generational forgiveness, we have breaking generational causes and generational covenant, we have broken yoke. The next thing for us now is to activate and begin to manifest the blessings that the devil deny our ancestors, the blessing that the devil deny our parents and our family members because of their evil transaction. We can now boldly stand and say, by reason of our new creation in Christ Jesus, that the whole which is causes, the whole which is causes things, the whole things has passed away. Causes is now passed away. But the new, which is blessing, has come. And that blessing will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to pray. And as you tell this prayer, I want you to pray with all this strength in you because God is doing something great in your life from today. Amen. The prayer that we activate that blessing. This is the prayer we want to pray now. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 7 to 10. Isaiah 49, 7 to 10. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, and His Holy One, to him whom man despise, to him whom nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. You are not saying amen. amen. Princes also shall worship, amen. because the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel. And Thus says the Lord, in an acceptable time I have heard thee, Say amen. amen. And in the day of salvation, I have helped thee. Amen. And I will preserve thee. Amen. And I will give thee for a covenant of the people amen. to establish the earth to cause to inherit the desolate heritages. That thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness. Show yourself that they shall feed in the way. They shall feed in the way and their pasture shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst. Say amen. amen. Neither shall they eat nor sun smite them. For, for he that have mercy on them shall lead them. Even by the spring of water shall he guide them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we begin to thank God right now? Let's thank God for keeping you alive in order to possess your bloodline blessing. I want you to give him glory. There is a bloodline blessing. God kept you alive to hear this message. God spare you so that you will be a partaker of this blessing. Begin to thank him. Begin to give him praise. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me alive. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us alive so that we have access and activate our family life blessing. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to cry aloud and say, Say, away! Away! Every sleeping blessing, every dormant generational blessing in my bloodline, in the name of Jesus, awake! 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 Away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray that prayer with more zeal. You want to activate your generation of blessing. Your bl so you, there's some blessing that is lying dormant. They must wake up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command you. I command every dormant bloodline blessing. Every sleeping generational blessing. In the name of Jesus. Awake. 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 
Away. In the name of Jesus. Away. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I command every ancestral blessing and breakthrough of past generations to begin to manifest in my life. In the name of Jesus. Manifest in my life. Ancestral blessing. Breakthrough. Manifest. 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 In my life. Ancestral blessing. Blood and blessing. Breakthroughs. Fruitfulness. In my life. Manifest. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Do like this. Say I break barrier. To fulfillment. Of God's promise. In my lineage. In my life. In my life. Every barrier. To the, to the performance of God's promise. In my life. In my lineage. Break. 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 Break the barrier. Break. 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 In Jesus' name, they are broken. Say in the name of Jesus. Every on top and on unused blessing. Every on top and unused blessing. Every untapped and unused glory of my generation, my life is available. In the name of Jesus, locate me by fire. Locate me by fire. Locate me. 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 Malikete and tire, most of tire ligi. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for you and by the spirit of prophecy, every untapped blessing, Malikete. Every unused blessing and glory of your lineage, let them locate you by fire. Amen. Locate me by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Let, the let the blessing of God and his covenant overshadow over and override and over every cause, every, every negative covenant every negative in, my in my life and generation. And generation. So blessing of God. Blessing of Override the cause. Override the cause. Override joke. Override evil covenant. In the name of Jesus. Blessing of God. From today. Override every evil in my bloodline. Override every iniquity in my bloodline. Say blood of God. Override them. Override them. Override them. Override them. Override them. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every dormant promises of God. In my generation, in my generation and, my life, and my life, I call you forth. I call you forth. Manifest. 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 In Jesus' name, they manifest. Amen. Let somebody shout and cry like, say, I will not die, I will not die. Without, full without full manifestation of my God's blessings, of, blessing. of God's promises of God in, my life, in my life, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say amen. 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 Say every achievement, every achievement. and good things. And good things. That my ancestors and my parents have failed to assess, have failed to acquire all the blessings that have failed to activate and actualize. Say in the name of Jesus, I possess them, 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 possess them, possess them, possess them, possess them. In Jesus' name, we possess them. Say every good vision. I can hear you. Dreams, predictions concerning my generation. Manifest in my life now. In the name of Jesus. Manifest in my life. Manifest in the life of my children. Every dream, every vision, good vision, prophecy. Manifest, 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 manifest. In Jesus' name, they manifest. Say all the good things. That they, that they have done or achieved in my lineage, in my lineage. and generation. Say by the resurrection power of God, I achieve them. Achieve all the good things, thing. greater dimension that have been done in my lineage, I achieve it. I achieve it. I achieve it. In the name of Jesus, say a good amen. Say the present. The and the future glory, the future glory of, my of my family and my generation, and my generation shall, not die, shall not die or be perverted. In, in the name of Jesus, say my, my generational glory. My generation will 
In the name of Jesus, my glory will not die. In the name of Jesus, say a good amen. We have some prayers. I want us to pray very well. Say every blessing. Every blessing. Containing Abrahamic blessing. blessing. Locate me now. In the name of Jesus. Because I'm Abraham here. Spiritual here. Say Abraham blessing. Locate me now. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Abraham blessing. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord says, somebody you are listening to me right now, you are experiencing delay. Delay is what the enemy is using to prolong your stay in pain, in poverty. But that joke of delay is broken. Amen. Right now, it's broken. Amen. I see God removing everything that is as standing as obstacles and barrier, and that delay is broken. Amen. Every delay to God's promises in your life, to God blessing for your life today, let that delay be removed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command speedy manifestation. Station now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Where you ought to be and you are not there by the reason of bloodline battle, let the power of God move you there in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say all the good dreams, all the good dreams. That, I've that I've ever had. All the good dream, all the good dream. That is in me. That, that, that bloodline battle is not allowed to manifest. Say from today, oh yeah, begin to manifest. My good dream. Manifest, 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 manifest. My good dream. Manifest. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every power of the grave. Swallowing generational blessing and glory. You this power. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Fire. Scatter, by fire. scatter by fire, scatter by fire. In Jesus' name, they scatter. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus, I set a blaze. Every hijacker of blessing, every every demonic warehouse that is robbing our generation, that robs us of our blessing. Say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, from today. I set it ablaze. Every warehouse that is robbing us of our blessing. In the name of Jesus, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire. Cash fire. In Jesus' name, they cash fire. Say all generational blessing, virtues, glory in the custody of the enemy and on any evil altar. I command them now to comfort and locate me. Comfort, locate me. All my blessing, all my virtue, all my glory in the custody of the enemy. In any evil altar, in any shrine, in any palace, in any coven, in the waters, under the earth, in the firmament. You my blessing, locate me now. Locate me now. Locate me now. Locate me now. Locate my family members. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every dead glory, every dead virtue, and good things come alive. In the name of Jesus, command it to come alive. 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 In Jesus' name, they come alive. Say every opposition, every power that wants to delay me and delay my blessing. In the name of Jesus, from today, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, be arrested. In the name of Jesus, say I activate generational blessing, bloodline blessing, generational glory, generational good traits. I activate it by the blood of Jesus. Say I activate my bloodline blessing today. By the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be activated, be activated, be activated, be activated. In the name of Jesus, say a good amen. I want you to stretch your hands towards me right now as I bless you. This blessing will be your blessing as you say a good amen. From today, let your generational blessing manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
you will not manifest any evil family pattern again. Amen. You will not manifest any evil trait again. Amen. What is in your life and in my life from today is glory, Amen. is excellence, Amen. is majesty. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. every inborn glory in you, every glory inside you from today, let it manifest. Amen. You will make impact Amen. in your generation. Amen. From today, people will see you and thank God for you. Amen. Generation yet are born, when they hear your name, they will give praise because of Amen. you. In the name of Jesus, Amen. no yoke, no demons, no evil spirit is permitted in your life again. Amen. From today, begin to enjoy a Brahmic blessing. How the spiritual ear and parents to the seed of Abraham, to the throne of Abraham, to the blessing of Abraham, begin to enjoy it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Amen. We give you all the glory. Amen. Praise. Amen. We give you all the glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, Amen. for new beginning. Amen. Lord, we thank you Amen. for possession Amen. of all our generational Amen. blessing. Amen. We give you praise. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I want everyone to begin to thank God Father, for giving us victory. Over bloodline battle. Let's give him glory. You have gotten it. You have gotten it. No more battle. No more battle. Give him praise. Give him praise. He has given you victory over bloodline battle. Now you assess bloodline blessing. You assess bloodline blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give him glory. Let's give him praise. Let's give him adoration. Celebrate. Our Calvary victory over blood and battle. I congratulate everyone. This time for us to celebrate. He has given us victory. We are going to lift him higher. Higher Jehovah. We will lift him higher. Please get this book. This book is written by me. Victory over bloodline battle. It's in Redemption Camp Bookshop. You can get it online, Jobas online. You will get this book there. You can also get it in Clam uh, Bookshop or Molly Cavern Bookshop. You can get it in Reputable Bookshop worldwide. You can also call me, you'll get it. It's very powerful. By God's grace, all other programs will be given to us. You are going to see it online. Please join us anytime we call for this program and it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to thank everyone that is partnering with us, those giving their tithes, offering, generous seed. We want to add, our account is on the screen, wanting to partner and to make the work of God to progress. It shall be well to, with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says he wants a cheerful giver and this time God is testing every believer. Maybe they are going to use their substance to promote the gospel. So please pass that examination. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say a good amen. amen. We want to worship God. We want to praise Him. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Are you ready to praise Him? I want us to praise Him and celebrate our victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey. 
Jesus, Amen. no power, no demon will take your blessing from you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, you'll be swimming in blessing, Amen. fruitfulness, Amen. breakthrough. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. no more disease. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. very soon, you will call me to, uh, with your testimony. Amen. You will give thanks. Amen. You will dance your dance. Amen. You will sing your song. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. We love you with the love of God and we pray that every one of us that participated in this VG, your testimony will be rolling in. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, sweep of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, said to Hallelujah.